Today we have a special Aston, a DB6 Volante. One of my favorites because I've known it for many, many, many years. Sold it several times. Prior to my first ownership, it was owned by the Ritter family, who was well known in the uh, Aston Martin Owners Club and Aston Martin circles, and had a nice collection out west. It has been restored, cared for, it has won several concours. I recently drove it from San Francisco to Monterey for the Pebble Beach week with my son. It really has no disappointments. For so let's show you how it is on the road. Well, this is a real cold start. We've just rolled it out of the showroom where it has not run for a couple weeks. Choke is on a start. And she has decided to start as Aston's do. And we're going to get it on the road, warm it up, and bring it straight to the fuel station because it has absolutely or very little fuel in both tanks. As you can see, it's also a U.S. car with air, factory air conditioning, which is lovely to have in the summer. Factory radio, which would work great if we put the antenna up, but we have not. Oh, here, look. Here's Ariel. Unlike the Little Mermaid Ariel. This is an antenna. Put the aerial down again. I'm going to lower the idle a little bit. Let's see who's calling. Don, I got to call you back. That was Don Gleister. He was calling to say hi. Well, we're still warming. It's a lovely ZF factory five speed. Okay, well we made it. Well, as we're warming up, we're going to go down the farm road and please disregard the red light that goes on and off. That is the uh, brake fluid warning light and the reservoir top needs to be replaced. Because as you can see, it's intermittent. I think we can't see anything here. We are driving right into the sunlight. But as you can see, she is cruising quite nicely, I should say. We're enjoying the brake fluid light that flickers a little bit because I feel as though I have a friend. We're going to turn on to our curvaceous road towards our flybys. Show you what a great tour car this can be, cruising car, weekend car. Golf club car. Ah, hell, I've even driven them in and out of Manhattan. Because after all, someone's driven them in and out of London. They're quite happy to sit in traffic. I am somewhat prejudiced based on the fact that I love these Astons because they are so usable. They sound great. Handle wonderfully, have great power, and you're going to hear how great they sound from the outside on the flybys. Oh, look, the brake lights off now.
flybys being over. We're going to drive back towards the farm road. Not quite the B roads of England, or the countryside of England, but we'll make do with what we have. The DB6 Volante was really made famous from a Mark II DB6, which is Mark II DB6 Volante, which is even more rare, which was given to uh, Prince Charles, who is now King Charles, for his 21st birthday. I'm sure many of you have seen that in magazines and state duties on occasion. There's a great photograph of Princess Diana sitting on the fender of Charles's Aston DB6 Volante while he was playing polo. That was frowned upon by everybody. So here we are on the farm road. The FFR going through the gears. We did enjoy driving this down the coast of California. It was just elegant, fun, usable. It cruised with the best of them. And it's not a matter of whether it has a, an enormous amount of horsepower. It does have plenty of giddy up when you want it. So she'll just keep going. And that's pulling from very low RPMs in third gear. So a favorite. You know what? I say that a lot of times, but I do have some a lot of favorites over 33 years. A lot of these orphans have come in and out of the orphanage over and over again, and we've gotten to know them and help them. Um, sometimes a little cosmetic surgery, sometimes a new hip, you know, lever arms, shock absorbers. Sometimes we feel like shoe sa salesmen just putting new tires on them and giving them new shoes. Whatever the case, we're very proud to have been able to deal in so many of these prestigious, lovely cars and keep them on the road. So I hope you did enjoy this one, even though the handbrake light has stayed on for most of the road test. And um, we'll make sure that is off. How about that? Is that better? You're very welcome. Bye -bye. Breakfast. Where's breakfast? Where's the best for breakfast? Look. Did someone that throw that in? I don't know. Oh, God, help me.